So for this week's family art night, what we're going to do is we're going to make birds. And all of your take make th supplies and activities come here in your create bag. Make sure that you swing through curbside and or stop at the front desk to pick it up. Now inside of your, if I can get mine open, geez. Inside of your bag, you have a piece of paper with eyeballs on it. Looks a little weird, but I'll explain it. Um, you get instructions with a sample picture of what your bird can look like. But remember, there's no wrong way to craft, so make sure you do it however you like. And there are some crayons in your bag as well. Now, if you don't like these crayons, you can use your own crayons that you have at home, or you can use colored pencils, or you can use watercolor paints. You can. There's no wrong way to do this. You can do this however you like. So... Uh, yeah, that seems to be a good spot. So, your instructions show you how to do this. It's pretty simple. So first, we're going to start by coloring our emu's eyes and beak. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do blue eyes. Because I think that's a fun color. And it's one of the crayons I had in the bag. <laughs> um, let's see. Now... In the instructions, I do call them emus, but I also think they look kind of like ostriches, which is why in our story time videos for this week for Family Art Night, I read a couple ostrich books, which is pretty interesting. Ostriches are pretty cool. They're giant birds. Very awesome. Now, I'm going to do my beak. See, I have blue eyes. I'm going to do my beak yellow because I want to save the orange crayon I got for feathers but remember there's no wrong way to do this yours does not have to look like mine and there's a pretty good chance that your bag got different crayons um and there are there are two blank emu sheets for you so that you can do more than one if you want and if you are feeling really confident in your ability to draw eyes and a beak you can go ahead and make your own from scratch. That's fine too. Go for it. I would be excited to see those if you wanted to send them along, share them with me. Um, I am not very confident in my ability to draw eyeballs or beaks, so I made copies. <laughs> now, our step two is to add a neck. And I am going to do that in orange. This, I think, is why I thought they looked like ostriches. They have really big necks. And like I said, you can mix and match your colors. You can do whatever, you can do this however you like. There's really no wrong way to do it. I just, I feel better when I have a sample, so I like to make sure other people have a sample too. And you can do fat neck. You can do a really skinny neck. Mine kind of changes shape as it goes down. But see, you've got a generic basic neck so that it doesn't look like it's just a head floating in the air. Now we're gonna add colorful feathers around the face. And I am going to do this with, this was not the right amount of colors. I'm going to start at the top with some yellow. And we're just gonna like, give him like some spiky hair. This is fun, it's kind of like scribbling. Yeah, give him some over here. And then I'm going to add in some, I'm going to add in a little bit of blue. And you can do this so that your spikes come all the way from the middle. Or you can do this so that there's a little bit of like head space. And then you can go in with a separate color for the head feathers if you want. There's no wrong way to do this. This is just basic general generic sampling. Um, let's throw some orange in here. You know what? I need a little bit of yellow right down here. And you can cover up that front piece of the neck if you want, or you can leave it as is. Let's see, we've got some nice feathers spacing out there. I think I'm going to give him a nice little ring of black feathers all the way around to 
kind of outline everything because now you know just you know let you in on a little secret here miss jamie kind of makes this up as she goes along while she's talking to you so there really is there's no wrong way to do this there's no like actual method to the madness so much as it is to just be fun and creative and have some have some fun that's really it we just want to have fun and if we can do that together as a family whoo, added bonus points okay so i filled in around my face and i'm going to do that little spot that's left i'm going to do that in orange because i really like orange And I think, because it looks a little silly, I'm going to add some over the neck feathers. But you'll still be able to see the neck through it because. So, there we go. We've got a bird. Looks pretty cool. Now, like I said, no wrong way to do this. You can do this however you like. You can use whatever colors you like. You can use colored pencils. You can paint. You can do whatever you've got around at home. But if you don't have any of those at home, you do get crayons. So you can make patterns and figure things out however you like. If you wanted to, you could even have started with like a central dot and then make all of your lines come out from that so that all of his feathers are kind of the same length. But I chose not to do that. Like I said, no wrong way to do it. You can do it however you like. And if you wanted to send your pictures to Miss Jamie when you were all done, you can email them to me at children's at marvinlibrary.org or send them to our Facebook page. That would be great, too. I just like to know I'm not all alone here in the virtual realm of programming. <laughs> so make sure that you stop by. Like I said, curbside or front desk, you can get your craft and you're all set and ready to go. We will be doing a live reading Tuesday at 6 from the parking lot um, on WMML. It is 1040 a.m. and it works pretty well. We're still working out some of the kinks and I haven't quite figured out yet how we're going to run things on a loop, but the live readings are going fairly well. So hopefully we will see you at some point soon and otherwise enjoy your week, have some fun, and next week we'll do family game night. Bye!